That's not room temperature. Take it! Take it! Take it! For God's sake! Why we bother? I think we're live. Oh. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Help I Sexted My Boss. Again, the podcast again. where for a hundred episodes we've helped you navigate the challenges of modern life. Answering your 21st century questions and finding solutions to everyday dilemmas. Like what do you do if your cat eats your used condom? <laughs> And do you tell your flatmate that you know they like to shag melons? And of course, what should you do if you've accidentally sexted your boss? But we're not your usual agony ants, are we, William Hansen, UK's leading etiquette expert? No, we're not Jordan North, runner-up of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. I'm more park with the valet, you're more... Pay and display. Very good. Very good. Well, and thanks to Mary Kate on Instagram for sending that one in. Uh, just to say that I am not sat next to Prue Leaf, although he has got a glasses. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> William. Hansen. You haven't mentioned that until now. <laughs> Didn't do that. I thought no one's commented on my new glasses. How dare they? Are they Prue Leafs? They're not Prue Leafs. They're mine. Are they? They're just a slightly bigger frame. Let's have a look. Um, not sure I'm sold on them. Oh, are we allowed to talk? Oh, we're not allowed to talk. Oh, oh, we're not allowed. We're not allowed. Oh, we're... Where's the anti-back? So, cut that, Ben. Cut right. that. Cut that. Yeah. You dead old earlier, you didn't like you? like Eric Morkham and Prue Leaf. Thank you. That's a compliment. I think. It's your line. Um, well, look, this is the first time in over a year that we have been in the same room. Yes. So it's a seminal moment for us yes. to be here. We've got microphones. You haven't had to set your microphone up, so things are going smoothly yep. so far. We can all hear each other. And uh, we're live. We're unedited. We are going to be this side of 8.30. We are live. We are raw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we certainly will be. <laughs> we are live at the moment on YouTube for yes. our 100th main episode. Just want to let you know that uh, if you are easily offended, it might be best to switch off because when we record the episodes, obviously we cut things out. It's usually William that asks for things to be cut and we can't do that today. So no. there's nothing that we can cut. So I'm yeah. I'm no, I'm normally quite good. I self-edit. Yeah. You don't. I don't. Which is odd because you're the one with a live broadcasting background. Yeah. So this is like a peek today behind the curtain. This is how we record usually. We're not doing anything different really. It's just a normal episode, but you can watch us live on a Sunday night and we promise you most importantly we will be finished before Line of Duty. Yes, so for those in the UK, uh, Line of Duty, huge, huge thing at nine o'clock. Uh, we, will be, we will be finished by then, so don't panic. Yeah, we will be finished before Line of Duty. And one more church notice, please do leave your comments in the comments section mm. if you're watching on YouTube. And send in your dilemmas. We're going to do some live dilemmas yep. towards the end. So if you've got any questions, anything you want to ask us, any problems with your housemates, your mums, your other half, let us know. Yeah, we would, as ever, we are here. We're a public service, really. And also, talking of public services, um, a, sh a special shout out to Jessica, who I noticed uh, only a few moments ago on Twitter. Um, she's had to go to A&E, but she's still committed. Oh and my. she's streaming us live from A&E. Really? I don't know what her ailment is, whether there's a limb hanging off uh, or if she's on a ventilator. But Jessica is uh, live. We're live to A&E somewhere in the world. Cut that, Ben. Cut that. What? <laughs> Cut that. You can't say that. Well, she could be. <laughs> Jessica, let us know. <laughs> Pop us in the comments. <laughs> and, I, and they said it was going to be me that needed to edit. <laughs> she could be on a ventilator. Well, she could be. <sighs> right. I think it's time we had a drink. Should we have a drink? Yeah, let's have a drink. Okay. Right. Here we go. Oh, oh it didn't do it. Oh, wait there. Thank God. Wait. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can tell you and Mikey have been at it this lockdown. Oh, stop it. Oh, I'm chucking a knock dog down Mersey Tunnel. Just put it in there. I'm just, no, I heard it as I said it. Just put... Uh, so if you are watching for the first time or listening for the first time, we drink a gin and the bonnet. William, tell us about a and d Well, it was uh, the late Queen Mother's favourite drink and it's still drunk by Her Majesty the Queen of a lunchtime, I am told. It's, her, it's a very strong drink and it's... Imagine she's had quite a few over the last year. And uh, it's, it's a lovely drink. Uh, it's our drink. <laughs> Can't say. Well, she probably has. Uh, it, now, however, we normally have it with ice. We've got no ice in this studio. Yeah, Merchandise Matt uh, is with us. We've seen him for the first time since we did our live tour. He had one job to get some ice. 
and, uh, and he failed. He came back with Pringles and magic beans. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> but I have brought from home in a little Tupperware. I have brought some slices of orange. So oh. if you Corona it, let you take your own slice. Okay, I'll have to touch yeah. it. Okay, Thank and you. I'll take this one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, so at least we've got a slice of uh, a last slice of citrus, and we are drinking. We'll talk to you more about these later. We're drinking from our new luxury uh, tumblers, a new edition of our tumbler. We've redesigned it. We'll talk to you more about that later on. Okay, can you see my face, Ben? Can you see? Oh, it's such a diva. No, I'm, oh, sh no, although not. <laughs> can you see my face? Yeah, like like we said, this is all unedited. Is that fine there? Can you hear me? Okay. Not as much of a diva as you were earlier, when in our WhatsApp group, and no, no, yes, right, you were no, right. Come on, say it. Go and on. we said we agreed what time we were meeting. We said we'd go for lunch, and Ben was like, "Oh, I'm thinking pizza." And then you chip in with, uh, "I had pizza on Friday." No. Oh yeah, let us know what your meals are this week. We'll plan around them. <laughs> no, right. Did you not see that picture on Instagram? We had a massive pizza bigger than your head. And that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> it was huge, so I just said I, I, I had pizza on Friday. You can't have pizza Friday and then Sunday, especially when you're 31. Mm. You're 31 now? Yeah, you can't have pizza twice. When you're in your 20s, when I were at uni, I had pizza Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I knew all the days of the Domino's specials. Mikey, you, he won't. Uh, hello, Mikey, if you're watching. I am a little puppet and watching, Amia. Oh, you look so handsome, you do. What did we say about impressions? <laughs> oh, I'm watching you, yeah. Oh, I'm right proud of you, I am. Oh, just going to put them shelves up and then I'll watch you. Mike at university, and you've met Mike as like a beanpole. And uh, at university, he used to buy two on two for Tuesdays. And he would uh, he'd buy two and have one one night and then the next for breakfast. Would he? Apparently, I think I've got that right. Sorry if I haven't, Mikey. No, you've got it wrong. I had two for Tuesdays, I had... Two on Tuesdays and none on Wednesdays. Cheers, Mikey. Should we do a toast? I think I've already. I think I preemptively had a drink because you know it's it's live. Um, but we should do a toast. And I would like to toast. We, we've already mentioned this person. I'd like to toast the very first person that we ever toasted on this podcast. Can you remember who that was? That was the Queen. Her Majesty the Queen. That was Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, and so I think again it was her birthday this week as well. So it feels fitting. She shares the same birthday as my youngest brother, our Brad's. Right, so shall we again toast the Queen and our Brads? The Queen and our Bradley. The Queen and our Brads, his Brads. No, no clinking, because no it's common. Oh. Oh. Let's get clinky! It is such a nice drink. Oh, right, honestly, Gene Divas, if you've still not had it, if you've heard us harping on about it every episode, yep. you've really got to try it. You do. It's such a, such a good drink. It slips down the throat. And the, the thing is, actually, and I, I think about this, a lot. It was literally, we were going to do a different drink every episode. That was the original plan. Yeah. How life would be very different if we had gone down that route. Am I peaking, Ben, or am I all right? Level's all right. I think okay. we peaked a while ago. <laughs> so remember, if you want our help with something, then you can tweet us at Sex of My Boss. You can send your tales of trepidation to help at sexofmyboss.com. Or you can write to William Hansen, who promises a handwritten reply on his own letter to paper. The address is on the website, sextedmyboss.com. Also, if you're enjoying what we're doing in lockdown, we always enjoy reading the nice reviews on iTunes. So do leave them wherever you can. Maybe pop us a little review after this on iTunes. Uh, you can leave us comments as well in the bit, the comment. Bit. Now, normally on an old episode, you just read that again and it would be edited and it would seem seamless. But you also, can't do that, can you? <clears throat> right, start again. Pick up, Ben. Pick up. Right, edit that. The Tuesday episode will sound very slick. Also, if you're enjoying what we're doing in lockdown, we always enjoy reading the nice reviews on iTunes or wherever you can leave them. So do leave us a nice re review. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell your auntie, tell your uncle, your friends, your next door neighbours. I just and stopped speaking. Remember, you can leave us uh, any comments in the YouTube comments bit. I thought I'd bring there in... There was something you had to do there. Was there? Yeah, there's something you not... I'm just going to talk about this now. I brought in, for the benefit of those that are watching on live stream, some of the examples of some of the really lovely letters that I get sent. Oh. Um, this is a lovely little card saying thank you. This one's from Georgina. And some of the messages, I won't read I won't read them because sometimes they're problems and you will probably hear those, Gene Divas, on the podcast. Um, but sometimes they're just really nice messages to say how much that, that we have cheered people up. Uh, and that means a lot. Here's another one here. This is from Abby on some nice quality stationery. I mean, technically, Abby, you have written on both sides of the writing paper. Now, from an etiquette point of view, you only write on one side. Oh, dear. Yes. And then what you would need is what is called a continuation sheet, which is basically the same piece of paper, but without the uh, motif at the top. Um, so, you know, that's something to ask for for Christmas. 
perhaps. Uh, and then this is another nice one as well we got from Northumberland uh, as well. I did actually, uh, full disclosure, uh, leave the second page of that at home. So I can't tell you who that is from. No, doesn't, no, do, no one ever sensed their letters. Is that a thing? Can you sense your letters? Well, you, just, you just sort of spritz it with whatever. There was something you were meant you... to do there and it's bugging me. Well, we'll crash not... on. How right. should we been? Was maybe it was it that? Uh, no, it wasn't that. Oh, it's 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 been a good week. I've been I've not had a day off since last Tuesday. Yeah, but do you actually work full days? Yeah. Or is your idea of a working day? Uh, you've you've done a tweet. So okay, uh, left the house at eight o'clock yesterday morning. Got in at ten o'clock last night. Gosh, mm. you got lost again. So that's me for the week. And um, <laughs> yeah, I oh I, I went to see Miss Trunchable. I'm sorry. Miss Trunchable. No, Miss Trunchball. It's Miss Trunchable. It's Miss Trunchball. Miss Trunch. Is it? This is a character in Matilda. Yeah. Uh, is it not? It's not Ben. Is it not? It's, is it Miss Tr Miss Trunchable? No, it's Trunchball. Trunchball. Yes. All oh, right. Well, I went to see Miss Trunchball. You know the um, lady who does my waxing. Well, I didn't know she was called that. Well, I called that because she looks just like Miss Trunchable. Oh, right. That's basically. That's a nice image. Um, I went just before I went um in Castle. Mm -hmm. Wales, and I thought I'll get myself waxed. And you remember, I told you when I come back, mm. I got myself waxed before I went in Castle. And um, I went again recently because it needs doing, needs doing really bad. Oh, thanks, thanks for the overshare. And um, I didn't get my chest done this time because it hurt, it was just my back. And she's this was this was the lady who I'm so sorry that people have tuned in for this. This was the lady who waxed my chest, and I was screaming so much. She was worried about the clients downstairs. She got one of the sticks that you use to paste the Oh, wax. yes. Right. <laughs> she stuck the stick in my mouth and went, here, bite this. And I was there going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I went back and got my back done. Yeah. I quite enjoyed Were it. Were you tied up at the same time? <laughs> no. But, it, it, but I, got, I got that done on Wednesday. Right. I quite enjoyed it. Did you? Yeah, in a weird way. People do, sometimes people do experiment with hot wax. I'm told. Do they? Yes. Yeah, it's it's when it goes on at first. It's like you're like, oh. Ah. What's your pain threshold? Not very high. No. No, not very, not very high at all. Maybe we'll test that later. Yeah. No. no yeah. Miss Trunchable, come on in. <laughs> but she's lovely. She just looks like Miss Trunchable. She's very. I'm sure. And, and if have you told her that she looks like Miss Trunchable? God no. She'd batter me. <laughs> Since, uh, you might no. like that. She went to me as well. I don't know, like, what is the etiquette for, you'll know this. Like, I took my top off and I lied down and she went, oh, you'll have very spotty back. <laughs> <laughs> for, oh, cheers, she went, this very spotty back. Oh, well, I was that's... Like, all right. I was like, I went, oh, yeah. And I went, I said, do you know any good creams or I can use for it? She went, pseudo creme. I've got a story about pseudocreme, but I think I'll save that for the next series. No, why can't you tell it now? Oh, it's a long story. No? We, I mean, yeah. we've got... <laughs> what well, time we on? No? No, it's a, it's a long story. It's, yeah. we'll, 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 um, we'll work up to that. It's a good story. How's your week been? My week's been fine. Um, I went out... I'm trying to lose some, some weight at the moment. I went out for a oh, run. Fine. No, well, I thank you. That's so kind of you. I mean, I know you dress like your favourite member of the rugby team at school today. Thank you very much, production, who've just laughed. <laughs> Thank you. Jordan! <laughs> um, this is new. I, <laughs> I bought this, especially in... Uh, where did I buy this? Was it Harrods? Somewhere like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah nice. Oh, nice. no, it was Ralph Lauren. Yes. You look really nice. You look very handsome. Thank anyway, you Anyway, so sorry, how's your week been? Yes, it's been fine. Anyway, I was out on my run, and as you know, I live in West London, completely nowhere near where you live. And West London has a bit of an image... Um, of being, you know, well, what's your image of West London? West London, basically, every person that you can think of that's either worked on TV or worked <laughs> behind the scenes on TV. It's not the case. At some point in their career has lived or does live in West London. Am I right, producer Ben? Pretty much. Right. Yeah. I do, to be fair, two streets away from me, they film Killing Eve. There you go. Yeah. So anyway, little sidebar. But uh, I was running literally one street away from the Killing Eve Street, and um, the there's one of the houses. You know, people have like beware of the dog sign. Yeah, I'm not joking. On this house, it's in French <laughs> because clearly they think the burglars around our part of the world <laughs> are bilingual. <laughs> it says attention au chat. And I thought, how deluded do you have to be? Even for me, I thought that was ridiculous. <laughs> was it really? 
Really? Yes. He's I'll take a photograph, she maybe. Took a picture. What's uh, beware of the dog in French? Attention, un chien. Attention. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, Dave Wright will do this one. Ah, bloody hell, we've got a dog here. How oh, do you know that? Attention, du flanchon. <laughs> oh, they have the grammar all wrong. Ah, they have it all wrong. Was <laughs> dong dog technique? It's German. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid boy. So, yes, that was. Oh, oh, and the other thing. I forgot even. Yes. You know, I'm quite obsessed at the moment with finding out if Kim Jong un is one of our um, G and Divas. Yes. So, he, I haven't had any news on that front. Okay. But again, another part of my West London lifestyle is my, one of my neighbours, Dom, pointed out uh, the other day a fun fact about one of the pubs near us is that many years ago, Ho Chi Minh, the former communist leader of Vietnam, worked there as a dishwasher. <laughs> No, he didn't. Yes. A pot washer. Yes, a pot washer. No, he never. I've, I've verified it. It is true. <laughs> I mean, I know I know it's a bit of a stretch from Ho Chi Minh to Kim Jong-un, but I feel it's it's we're getting there. Do you think he is a gene diva? Kim Jong-un? You, cause, because tell us about, your friend recently told you about this mechanic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jonathan, who I do my other podcast with. Oh, yeah, you... we didn't. T- how long in? Go on. Tell everyone. As you know, I'm by podcast. And... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Jonathan's car valeter, Liz G and Diva. Yeah. can't remember what his name is now. I think Nick, uh, Nick possibly. I'm oh, what, mate, oh, I listen to you. Why do all my workers... Have... Oh, what, mate, he's the same And person. you say I'm a snob. Oh, oh, listen to that podcast of your friends. Ah, so, they... so, yes, that was my week. In between French dog signs and Ho Chi Minh. It was a sort of standard sort of week in West London. We want to know mainly Gene Davis, and you can and uh, you can write this in the comments section right now if if you're watching live on YouTube, and we'll maybe read some of them out. Yeah, well, we are um, quite concerned. Have we changed since the first episode? Now you go way back to the first episode. Do you think we have changed? Well, do you know, it's funny because, and actually we can t- we can tell all of the G&D of this now, but, um, well, if, obviously this is the live stream on the Sunday. You can hear this live stream, the edited version. It would be interesting to see what gets cut um, on oh. Tuesday. Mm. But um, following that, the Tuesday after, we're going to put out uh, something I found on my hard drive. Um, that sounds wrong. But something I found on my computer. <laughs> um, cut that then. <laughs> yeah, for the edit. Something I stumbled across in my files the other day <laughs> was the pilot that we have never released of this podcast. So not episode one, it came before episode one. I am dreading this. It's, I, can I just say in advance? You've heard it. I, I listened to the whole thing. I'm so uptight in that, in that really? pilot. It's the pilot. Can you remember when I did my diary and I was quite rude about it and said, oh, well, I hope it goes well. The problems are a bit samey. Um, but it's only a podcast. Oh. It's that one. Right. So it's that. And we're going to put that out um, in a couple of weeks. It's all I remember from it is uh, Stuart, our friend, who uh, is like, we won't bore you too much, but he runs the production company that makes this podcast, mm. uh, Audio Always. And all I remember is he said, do you want to do it? And I was like, yeah, it sounds fun. And I remember him texting me whilst I was in Amsterdam saying, recording on Monday. I, I got back. I think Monday morning. Yes, because the, no, no, no. The actual the first episode that ever went out that, that is available now for people to listen. You've but you sound so different because you've lost your voice. Yeah, because I I remember I'd be, I had the hangovers of like it'd be up there in my top five hangovers. I was the best man. Honestly, who has a top five hangovers? I have a top five hangovers. That's tragic. Now I'm in Wigan, old <laughs> bank holiday weekend, Easter weekend in Sunderland, two thousand nine. That's up there. Right. Uh, there was one recently, last summer when we were allowed to go home. I was in a garden with mates and we, we got on the whiskey. Anyway, that's up there. And I also remember being really hungover for it and really horsed. Really what? Horsed. <laughs> horse. Horse. <laughs> Don't put a T on the end. No, I didn't put a T. Horse. No, it's Is not it horsed. Not horsed? <laughs> horse. Is it not? No. No, no, horse. Horse. Is it not horse? No. Right. Sounds like some condiment. 
I remember be feeling really hoarse. So, um, do you know I've been told by Mikey that I'm not allowed as of tomorrow when I go on my absolute big diet. I'm not allowed any creamed horseradish, which is my absolute like oh. big. I love creamed From horseradish. Waitrose. Yeah, or sometimes I make my own, but yeah. Oh God, I've changed that. Do you like horseradish? horseradish? Are you a horseradish? Yeah, bird? I get that one in as well. Which one do you get? The creamed one. You like it creamed? Oh, so, so, that honestly, right? If, if he glossed watching, over that. <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> If you've got a bit of leftover beef from your Sunday dinner on Monday or Sunday night, have a beef sandwich with horsed. <laughs> with cream, horse. Creamed. Cream, horse. Horse. Is it horse or horse? Horse, just net as in net. See, I don't know if I'm coming or going now. Cream, horse, radish. It's really good. In answer to our own question, yes, we've changed because I do go to Waitrose to buy that. Wow. Yeah, that's a big change. That is a big change. Because when you started doing this, were you living under the stairs or something of your parents? <laughs> I wasn't Harry Potter, but I was in the box room. The yeah. box room. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, but hang on, do you, don't your parents have other bedrooms? Yeah, they had So their why heads. were you in the box room? Because Bradley was in the other... Brad's, he's like James, he's number one child, golden right. boy. He okay. had the big room. Is he the youngest? Yeah. Yeah, that would be why. Yeah. Mm. Baby. Mm. Mm. Uh, hello, James, if you're watching. So, yeah, in answer to your question, probably have changed, but do keep an eye out for that episode that we're going to put out next Tuesday. It's not this Tuesday coming up next Tuesday. It's going to be the pilot episode. And as, as we're celebrating our 100th episode, 100th main episode, mm -hmm. um, we thought, you know, it would be wrong for us not to... Are you ready, kid? What's, what's the word? It would be wrong for us not to thank and to involve Deep someone breath. that's been quite critical in this podcast... Uh, over the years. Someone critical as in never gives us a... Well, he is quite critical. Very critical. Yes. He's critical, he's crucial. Um, and so, ladies and gentlemen, a, a small ovation in moderation for producer Ben. <laughs> <laughs> One clap. <laughs> so, Ben, this is your moment. This is your moment. Look, and he's got a G&D &D We'll do it together. We'll do it together. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Three, two, one... Hello, Hello ben. ben. Hi, guys. Oh, and he's oh! speaking. Oh, he's speaking. That's um, enough. Right, we we have seen the hashtag. We did try to ignore it at the start. We tried. We tried, but we have seen the hashtag. Let Ben speak. But he's here now. His negotiations with GB News fell through. He's now only with us. He's on, uh, yeah. He's now. We signed a, a three-year deal with us. Top yeah. tip: you need to have an agent that's on your side. If your agent's going to go down annoying people. Busting doors down. It's not going to do you any good. Thanks, no. Jordan. Yeah. That's why William never got onto Strictly. <laughs> Are you going to explain why I'm here? Oh, yes. Oh, right, okay. Ben, Ben, what have you brought? Oh, Ben. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, wait. For the edit. For the edit. For the edit. Like, let's do that again. <clears throat> oh, Ben, your sack looks huge. <laughs> never bigger. <laughs> never bigger. What's that sack, Ben? Gee. Well, obviously... We're celebrating 100 episodes of the podcast. Yes, we know that. Well, obviously, we're celebrating... A, I don't need to do it. <laughs> you said before we started recording, no accents before a certain okay. point. Yeah. yeah. And we've had about seven already. No, okay. Because right. no, all he can do... Speak, I would have said it already, but See, here we this, are. This is what he does. He tells us off. Um, but we're celebrating our 100 episodes. So for some reason, on our planning meeting on <laughs> earlier this week, we decided that we'd use a... My sack full of different things to show mm -hmm. and to sort of right, Ben, yeah. duty stuff, <laughs> simplify <laughs> these these things that have happened in the podcast over the years. So yeah, if you're happy, I'm gonna yes, have to let's my do sack. it. So Ben okay, so is gonna unload his sack live on the po podcast. Yes, Ben's gonna empty his sack right now live in front of you, our wonderful G and Divas. There's a lot in here. Are you ready for this? And trust me, we have it on good authority that it's been it's been quite a long time since <laughs> <laughs> he emptied his sack. If, any, if anyone that respects me professionally is watching, I'm so sorry. Don't tell us things over a pint, Ben. Okay, Ben. <laughs> what's your I, first item? He didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, so my first item is... Oh, it's a ring. A ring. Oh. A wedding ring. So it's Ben's to be. Oh, so this was from series two. No, I think it was bit series three, three or four. Three or four, where I, we made a pact. You might remember, Gene Divas. Mm. We made a pact that if we were single at 40, we'd get married, wouldn't we? Yes. Now, 40 is only nine years. Well, well, I'm 32 this year. 
So I'll put it on your finger. Uh, oh, this hand. Which one? This this finger. That one. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's the wrong finger. This finger. This one. Yeah. Oh, right there. Don't spit on my ring. <laughs> <laughs> Start the car. <laughs> Not the first time this week. Right. Um, oh, don't be disgusting. I have not spat on any rings this week. <laughs> Cut that. He told us that over a pint as well. <laughs> <laughs> so there. You know, oh. it's, it's, bit... it's not going I can't down. Lick it. No, don't lick it. Oh god, I can't lick it. Um, have you got an anti back? Get us an anti back wipe. So... No, we don't have. Just, we do. Just... They're over there. Put it on my little finger. I'll be. I'll be quite posh. That's no, quite posh. The, 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 we need anti back to it. Well, anyway, this is to represent our betrothal. Our, our planned nuptials yeah. that we had. Thankfully, obviously, I'm not single. So, Can you and imagine I'm... my dad at our wedding? Front row. Would he, hang on, would he be doing the father oh, of the bride speech? Yeah, probably. He's a very open-minded man. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when I join the family. <laughs> <laughs> we'll test that. Uh, okay, well, yes, I forgot that. Uh, ben, what's your next item? It is. Oh. A Sean oh, CD. A Sean yeah. Mendes CD. Album, handwritten. So this is, is quite a it's quite a personal name for this. That's from a few years yes. ago, isn't it? You touch the top. Why? I Why not touch you it. You touch the bottom. I'm on the side. You touch the top. Okay, I'm the top. So Sean Sean Men <laughs> Sean Mendes. Um, obviously, I've got a I've got a soft spot for him. Um, when and was it? In when fact, look, this is in its wrapper. Can I open him up? Yeah. <laughs> He's been waiting. He's been waiting for that all day. So, Sean is obviously. And look, I'm very happy in my relationship, and I wouldn't want anyone else. But me too. The little flower pot. If Sean were to knock, and I was, you know, single, then actually, this. Do you know? Actually, this is this is another. This is. I haven't finished that one. Um, this is from a while ago. Actually, he looks actually really quite young. I feel quite. A bit awkward actually looking yeah, at this. Check that hard but yes, I do like Sean Mendes. So uh, he's he's and of, on tour, of course, he was in that photo frame next to when me. When was it when you first told us about Sean Mendes? Was it like get that down again? Then I'll put. Um, is it like series one? I think we were talking about a, de a desert island or something. Yeah, and he come up. Will you pass us the gym, please? Oh yes, yes, Sean. Ben, what's next? What's next, please, producer Ben? So we've actually got <gasps> a pair of slippers. From they look absolutely hideous. The Hotel de Paris Monica. I'm going to hold these up to the camera because oh. we haven't really shown them. Just these are slippers that I pinched, like Ben said, from Hotel de Paris, Paris, in uh, in Monaco when yeah. we did our Monaco spash. I didn't really. They actually look really hideous. I'm I think I've been spanked with one of them. <laughs> I'm joking. Stop. I'm joking. Jordan, that's that was. You can't, a joke. You can't go that. cut that. Cut that. No. Cut that. I'm joking. I'm not... Oh, I don't really want to touch them. No, that's so. There, um, I pinched them for. I've, I've actually don't think I've ever worn them. To be fair, they don't look. They're, they're only really designed for your for the. Put your hand out. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Oh my God! I didn't. Oh, oh, sorry, I get right into it sometimes. <laughs> So she went about the drink. Jordan. Sorry. Safe. Okay. Sean Dyke. Sean Dyke. There you go. Sports Direct. <laughs> but the reason we we brought those is because of the live episodes we. Yeah. So yes, of course. For me, uh, personally, Gene Davis, I don't know about you, William Ben, the highlight for me was when William was so kind enough to take us to Monaco. Well, Mikey wasn't available. Yeah. <laughs> right. And we, you know, how many people can say this? I ate in probably. I, I slept in one of the best hotels in the world, and I ate in one of the best restaurants in the world. Ben didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he ate with us. Ben, tell us, talk to us about your accommodation. Well, no, I I was staying with you, but I and well, spending the day with you, and then ended up having to um, walk for fifteen minutes through Monaco at the dead of night to find my Airbnb, <laughs> which was incredibly uncomfortable especially when you've come from the hotel to Paris. yeah oh, quite i'll take you back i feel we owe you a night well, because you had to you but had that to was my through. highlight and we went to the casino where james bond was filmed and yeah it was great it was good fun ben had left us at that point and yeah. ben went back and sat at an airport for eight hours or whatever oh, it was yeah whilst we were in a casino it wasn't the it wasn't the, the holiday of dreams but i was working technically but i think it's important to say that as soon as we can i know that G and Divas love those episodes, Monaco and Burn. Oh, yes. Yeah. We've, We've got some plans. plans, haven't we? That's the feedback we always get in it. So we're definitely going to do similar episodes. I think 
Uh, my Better mom, episodes. Hopefully. Wendy's favourite episode. She dips in and out, but she said she loved Thank the God. Burnley, Burnley episode. Did she? Yeah. She's actually got on the f- a phone and shows all her friends the picture of you outside the Big Winger pub. Oh. Oh. Can we just leave this one on the side? Okay, start? so here we are. Mikey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wondered where that was. <laughs> um, on here, we have uh, some KY jelly. So this is one of my favourite moments. It was in a... It's not a lot left. I know, yeah. No. Where's, whose is it? Are we allowed to... <laughs> it's not mine. It's not mine. <laughs> it's yours. It's not mine. Who's it's it? yours. Whose is it? Merchandise mats. Oh, is it merchandise mat? <laughs> Christ, Matt, what are you using? Sandpaper. <laughs> Got that. Um, recommended by UK doctors to alleviate vaginal dryness. <laughs> I never knew you said that on it. To alleviate, is that the right word? Yeah. Vaginal I don't dryness. think they've got that wrong. No. KY Jelly, personal lubricant. Do you want to talk about why this is uh, it? So this is one of my favourite moments because I, I forgot that it came up. You you explain it. I feel like I'm talking loud. Well, when Jordan was going on his um, extended leave um, in at the end of last year, when you go into the castle yeah. and you were in your quarantine or whatever you were in, yeah. um, we had a we had FaceTime and Mikey and I were away. Yeah. In a hotel, and we were. Jordan was like, "Oh, show us around your hotel room." So we showed him around the hotel room, did like a a pan. And Jordan, as a joke, went, "Oh, you've left your lube on the side," and then we realised we had. <laughs> Jordan actually hadn't seen it. <laughs> My, Mikey was mortified. Mikey was mortified. Probably not as mortified as he is right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell him the story about? Because we didn't know how to keep that in, and I, I basically there's certain things we cut out. Obviously, like personal stuff, might have you, but I beg to keep that in because I just want to keep telling the story about when you the conversation you had with Mikey to keep it in. Well, I just asked him if he can keep it in, and he said he said no. <laughs> yeah, but, but didn't he say? What? When he said, "Well, I might." I, ca- I don't know what you're going to say. He said, one day I might want. I genuinely, genuinely don't know what you're going to <laughs> wait, say. Wait, let me write, write it down. It down. Ben, pull out the know. next item whilst, whilst Jordan writes down. Because I thought that was funny. And I'm just reading what he said. What? Oh, no, we can't say that. No, can we not? <laughs> can we not? Can we not? <laughs> he did say that, though, didn't he? <laughs> Don't tell me things, because re- I'm like a little... T- 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 what's the word? I remember this. That is, yeah. Sorry, by the way. That piece of paper is now going to go down in history. Yeah. Yes. As, what, that should be in here now. But, um, um, can I just check if I'm being a bit, If I'm being a bit loud and hyper, am I being a bit loud? Um, I, uh, do, I do apologise. I'm just I'm a bit giddy. We had a couple of drinks before we came on. William, uh, what are you doing? Just text Mikey with sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he did say that, didn't he? Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah. We can't see. I'm not that. What's bad. this? Oh. So it's a <gasps> oh, telephone, but it's disattached. So let's be honest. Which is quite fitting. Yes. Let's be honest. Not everything's worked. There's been. Ups and downs in the podcast over a hundred episodes. Yes, the last and, five minutes was um, a bit of a down. And see, this is why I wish I was still in the old days, like just like flirting on the phone and just not like wringling it in my fingers. Am I weird? You are quite weird. <laughs> yes. To be like, yeah, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Um, we did the help hotline. Tell us about the help. Hotline. Well, the help hotline was. An <laughs> Well, that that worked. Um, it was a it was an idea. It was our bonus episode. It was the first, obviously, we do our weekend release, and um, the help hotline was us. I think it was in series three, Ben. Yeah, yeah. And it was where some G and Divas or some famous people phoned in with their problem. Famous. <laughs> and we uh, <laughs> went. Caught that. <laughs> it's changed. And we went. We went through, and we answered their problems. So just like we do, and it was just a little mini episode. And some of them were, were really, no, really good. No, to be fair, some were good. Uh, Riddy, Riyadh's was really good. Yes, not Ridian. No, it and uh, the comedian lady with a son. Oh, what was that? Was my favorite. Jessica one. Foster, Foster Q. That if you go back and listen to it, she was. He was good. So funny. Oh, wine. Oh, Owen was great as yeah, well. Yeah, with his burner phone. Oh, and my, had my my former luxury flatmate. Yeah, she did. And we had yeah. your uh, James's friend. Do you know what? They they weren't bad. It was just hard work doing it, weren't it? From a technical point of view, it was very difficult. It was very difficult. and it This was... is almost a white slimline telephone with last number of redial, isn't it? <laughs> Not to mention my, uh, my other podcast. What's next in your sack, please? It's a potato peeler. Oh! oh. 
Um, Go on, Jordan. No, so why have we got this? Is that one so of your, fa- Jordan... is that your favourite impression? Because it always makes you laugh. It's quite it? a lot of people's favourite impression. Is it? Probably because it's the most accurate. So basically, <laughs> um, you know that I'm quite a quiet and subdued person. Mm. Uh, but my impression started when I was a young kid. And one of my my mum and dad used to get me to do impressions mm. uh, when I was like seven. They used to get me to do... Like you, I'm showing my age now, but you might not remember in 1998, um, the president of the United States, Bill Clinton, had an affair with. Can we say this for legal reasons? I think so. I think. Why are we going into this detail, though? What are we going on? Well, I used to do impressions. Just say you did impressions. impressions of, cut that. I used to do impressions of Bill Clinton, didn't I? I was eight yeah. year old going, I did not have sexual relationships with that woman. Yeah. And I yes. also do, used to do an impression of a lady that used to live across the road from me. And my dad used to put a cushion down the. <laughs> she had a big bum. I used to go, and he'd go, go on, and my mum'd be there, and I'd go, Wendy, can I borrow your potato peeler? <laughs> Wendy, can I borrow your potato peeler? And um, <laughs> I love the fact, why could she not? I mean, yeah. potato peelers were like four pounds. Yeah, yeah, but that. We used to, honestly, she'd go, go around, Wendy, can I just borrow your telly for evening? <laughs> and then they'd go, and my mum'd be like, gosh, take it, don't be daft, take it. As soon as she leave the home, I'm like, honestly. Scrounger, <laughs> never not round here. Uh. Well, that's Ben. So was this, is, is this your there? potato? Is that peeler? is genuinely my pota- potato. Why peeler, is in that? So that's quite recent. You see now, it. very interesting. This is a potato peeler chat. I use the sort of the completely the straight one, one mm. whereas I, I find these ones slightly difficult. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm left-handed, so I'm always. I've got to learn. I've learned to cut, do stuff like this with my right hand. What are you doing? That's a, lie. That's a left hand. But I just find it up. well fascinating. Why do you put that in? Is that just because it's one of your best impressions? Because yeah, it's just it's a good way to get you to do that. Was recent. that was yeah. recent. Yeah, we're not yeah. just looking, but we're looking back at every episode. <gasps> oh my god, this is disinte- disintegrating in my hands. It's a massive chunk of watermelon. It's a watermelon. I don't think I could ever eat. I've not eaten a water. I don't eat watermelon often. I oh, don't unwrap it. There is a there is a quite large hole that looks like there's that's in that watermelon. I mean, so we had a letter um, a couple of series ago. I think our first lockdown series. Oh, series I get it now. Five. Don't no, don't Jordan. Do that. No, just think. Right, put your fingers. I don't want to put, put my fingers put in it. Fin- ben, put your finger in no, that. No, no. Put, COVID. Put your finger in. COVID. Right, you can understand why. Oh. <laughs> but seriously, just do, please, just do it, please. I'm not doing I'm it. I'm not going to shut up until you do it. Just put your finger. Just put your finger in it. And, and make your own. I hole. did it. Quick. No, make your own hole, and you can just do it. Well, I never wanted to work again, so it's fine. Oh! You can see why. I've got no. wet fingers now. <laughs> Look, you're leaking all over your book. Oh, no, no. We need that for after. Take it off us. But go on. You're going to... Right. Explain. We had a letter... Cut that. ...from a G&D diva um, who found his flatmate um, having a nice time with a whole watermelon. And he wasn't sure how he should broach this with his flatmate. Um, I can't remember what our advice was. Uh, probably don't eat the watermelon. But uh, yeah, that's that was um, that's it's, that. It's probably one of our most memorable episodes. I was like recently, I've been very flummoxed by some of the uh, dilemmas that have come in from you guys. But that was the first one where I'm like, I don't even. I think I said at the time, I don't want to live in a world where flatmates are shagging watermelons. No, it's disgusting. No. Okay, brace brace yourselves. What's, What's next? next one? It's it's coming out very slowly. Oh. oh. <laughs> Pulling out a dressing gown belt from the bag. <gasps> well, Less we all know this. what this is, don't we, Jean Devers? And I, I'm reliably in t- informed by Jordan that, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> this is the dressing. But this is the dressing gown. Is belt. this? Have you actually brought your own dressing gown belt? Yes. Is this the one? And it's, it's very I've long. Never, right. Yeah. Just, to, I want to clarify this right now on the record, and I want to put it straight. I have never. Being tied up with a dressing gown belt. Then why did you bring the dressing gown belt? Because it was part, it's a big thing now. So you've never been tied up with a dressing gown belt. Just smell the end <laughs> until tonight. <laughs> <laughs> smell no, not smelling the end. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, it's a waffle. It's a waffle texture. This was. This is actually weird. Because I, I promise you I haven't. Because this would be even weird. This was originally my dad's dressing gown. And my mum <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and my mum gave it me when I moved to London. 
So, did your dad show you the ropes? <laughs> He's here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next see you week. ta -ra. He did a funny. That was funny. That was very that was good. good. We'll cut that. Yeah, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then finally. Look at this. Finally. If, if anyone come in, though, we've got Lube, Dressing Gown, Bell. And Shawn Mendes. Mendes open. <laughs> I can think of a few things to do. <laughs> <laughs> we might not have time for your problems this week, Gene Divas. <laughs> The, the, th the funny thing is, I've actually got another dressing gown. Oh, no, I, dressing I brought my own thinking Jordan wouldn't is bring it. Is your dressing gown red? Yeah. That is the most bent like, thing ever. It's the whole dressing gown red. Mm. No, that's not strong enough. You're like Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> that Rambo. Mm. Nice. Um, but I have actually got a serious <gasps> item here. Well, I know what that is. Oh. Big red book, which is... I'm very Liam Hansen. This is your life. <laughs> well, it basically is. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> trying to be funny then. I interrupt you. What did you say? Th this no, is, it, well, this is my 2018 diary. Um, now, I have kept... Um, let's go for... There we go. Um, I have, over my years... You did what with my kid? Stop it. I oh, for God. gymnastics. I have... My initial diaries were typed, but in 2018, I bought, a, and I mean great expense, this gold-leafed book. How much was that? It was a lot of money. Let me have a look. And I it was, it was did about three price. months. <laughs> and quite a lot of it is unwritten. Is the, is the price in the back? No, of course the price is not in the back. Okay. Took it off. Um, anyway, so I thought I might write, read you another little extract from my diary because yeah. quite a few Gene Divas have, have wanted that. But also, Jordan, you kept a diary for a, a time, didn't you? We talked about this. No, I kept a diary whilst uh, before I went in the castle. So... Um, can you read it now? You've dropped watermelon. Yeah, juice on so it. I'm going to read an extract as well. Because okay, you read yours and I'll read. No, mine. no, you do, you go first. No, you go first. No, 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 you go first. Are we doing all right by the way? Um, do, I reckon he goes. <laughs> so first. needy. No, this is what this is. This, I reckon he goes first. Yeah, William, you go first. All oh, right, okay. Oh no, no, should I? We, William goes first. Okay, he's a funnier though. Yeah. What's well, the pay, what's the better payoff? William goes first. No, do you not think? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I printed out. This is not actually not from my 2018 diary. This is from the Sunday, the 8th of May, 2011. This is from one of my typed diaries. Um, took a trip to John Lewis in the Trafford Centre to exchange a £23 lemon zester. Managed to buy a chrome bin for the guest bathroom and some stainless steel sink cleaner with the money from the return zester. And I still had £9 left over, which went towards some lighter foundation. As the one I bought a few weeks ago makes me look too orange. <laughs> now, what is interesting about this entry is... Please get these published, please. This is the, the day I went to Stuart, who is our big boss's house for dinner. So Stuart owns the production company that makes a podcast, but he's also our friend. Well, he was our friend. Yeah. <laughs> and my, my employer. <laughs> and he's actually, like, he's actually Ben's boss. I'm, now, I'm Merchandise Matt's boss. Stuart, if you're watching, I'd like to apologise now. Went to Stewart's for dinner with Lucas, the luxury flatmate. Dinner was a delicious chicken and chorizo risotto, made with a wedge of Sainsbury's Taste the Difference Parmesan I had bought on request, as Stuart has run out. That's good. That's a good That's start. fine. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's a bit passive-aggressive. <laughs> I mean, it's William. It's Taste the Difference. We sat at the black dining table on white chairs that Stuart did say he wanted to sell. A wise move, I feel. <laughs> Oh, I'm God. such a nasty person, I'm sorry. Pudding was eaten on the sofa. Unlike mine, his a leather, so I suppose easy to wipe clean <laughs> had any of us spilled anything. <laughs> he served eaten mess, which certainly lived up to its name. <laughs> I actually loathe eaten mess. <laughs> <laughs> Equating it to my brother's birthday. He loves the pudding, and so we always have it at his birthday celebration in November. I'm a big pudding lover, so I'm always disappointed with eaten mess. Perhaps the world's laziest pudding after affogato. I politely... That's, sorry, sorry, sorry. What's affogato? It's where people just put a dollop of ice cream and do an espresso and stick it over the ice cream. And they coffee go, that's dinner. Cream. No, well, it's not coffee. It's just like ice cream and coffee. Sounds nice, that. Yeah, but it's lazy. Um, I politely agreed to have some, not making my distaste for it known. It was passable. <laughs> I had bought brownies as a hostess gift, partly also to bring for pudding. These were not served at all, and as I write this the next day, he still has my Tupperware click and close, and there's been no mention of my brownies since. <laughs> and that was Stuart's dinner party that reviews. Was great. Please, 
get them published. I've just got one question. Does he still have the click and close? <laughs> yes, I believe so. <laughs> I don't think I ever got that back. Steve Wright also has one of my click and close. Oh. I took in him. I took in some biscotti once for him, and he asked yeah. what biscotti was, um, and I said they're biscuits. All right then, Williams. What's biscotti? <laughs> That's the worst. Steve. That was the worst. <laughs> Steve Wright That's produced the bed on talk before. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I took in him. I th I thought you know I'll take some biscotti in one day when I do one of my uh, my stints for him. He looks like he lo looks. He looks like he likes a biscotti. Or six, so I took some in, and uh, and he's still got the Tupperware. No. Can we have your diary? So, <laughs> so my diary, uh, I started writing this before I went in castle, um, because I didn't have anything else to do. Literally, didn't have anything. Because you you got everything got taken away. Everything from got you. taken away from me ten days before I went in. Phone. Laptop, tablet, everything, and we only had Netflix on. So, and I'd like, I've pretty much completed. Will you get off your phone? So, I've just, Stuart's just texted me. Nine. Oh, has he? What's he said? I've got to phone him afterwards. When he was going to get taken away. Series 8 might sound quite different. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, my and I thought I'll start writing diaries, and then after I got out, <laughs> all went to me, and I thought oh, I could publish these. And then we we first read our diaries in this series, mm -hmm. and we realised mine were awful. Yeah. Well, this is this is even worse. I found this in my notebook. Okay. <clears throat> Tuesday, the tenth of November, two thousand and twenty. Feel better today, but still slightly anxious. Had a medical. Annoyed that I've put on a few pounds, but suppose I'll lose it in there. Girl who did the medical is dead nice. From Wigan. She knows my mate, Daryl. She went to school with him. It's a small world. Wow. Oh, our friend Daryl. Our friend Daryl. Had a brew and a chat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you not write about what the chat was about? Can't remember. <laughs> That's why you get a diary. <laughs> <laughs> right, Gob. Managed to read today quite a lot too. Why I chose to read a massive book on JFK, I do not know. I could have read two, maybe even three books by now. Chaperone is nice too. We had a chaperone, she was like the runner. Thank had you. a really good chat with her. Turns out she is a housemate with, I la with a lad I went to uni with. Really is a small world. <laughs> Did you write that? Yeah. Oh. You were very bored, weren't you? She dropped off an alarm clock, but the bloody thing doesn't work. Some tea bags and whiskey. Lovely. <laughs> Can we talk about your whiskey, by the way? What whiskey? You know that they brought, dropped you off a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Can then, like, two oh, days can later. We not bring okay, it sorry. Away? <laughs> so, you had, a, you had a chaperone that used to go to shop for you because you're literally not allowed to leave the house. And um, she. <laughs> She dropped off a bottle of whiskey, and then a couple of nights later, I said, oh, can I have a bottle of Jameson? She went, oh, I'll give you one a couple of nights ago, but I drank it, so I went, oh, yeah, of course you did. Oh, yeah, of course you did. Yeah, I forgot, but I got through it. Bless you. Chaperone advises that I cut my caffeine intake. I wish I'd listened to her. Oh, my, for the first two days in there, I had a massive headache. So I start using decaf tea bags. Tastes like piss. <laughs> <Fine. laughs> but don't think about caffeine or the lack of it in there. So I'm going to have to make do. Had a good workout in the gym. It was like a few weights in the living room. Right. Had chili for tea and a few cans of Guinness. Watched a few more episodes of The Crown. Still kind of nervous about what's to come. Also worried. <laughs> Also, I'm worried if I close my skylight before I left, but can't call my housemate because my phone has been taken off me. I hope I've closed it because I got some new bedding. <laughs> right? In, 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 in quotation marks, Egyptian cotton. Not sure what that is, but it cost me 60 quid. <laughs> and I only got two pillowcases. You only got two pillowcases? So that was the last... That was the the last thing I wrote before I went the into the castle door. was pillowcases. Wow. There we are. But, I, don't, well, I doubt that'll make the Daily Mirror. Um, of course, we knew that his Skylight wasn't. Yes, because we excellent. did Skylight News. Yeah, you did Skylight News. And can I just say, I probably haven't said this enough, 
genuinely thank you for all the love and support in there. I do appreciate it. And you guys were great, and you were, and those episodes you did were brilliant. And I've, I've not listened to all of them, but I'm nearly through them all. And I've kind of done. How many back, have you listened? I've to? done them backwards. The Jay Rodriguez one's brilliant. The Thank one, you. I was quite good interviewing. Yeah, you I? were really good. Really good. Really. I know good. Dan Walker's stepping down from um, Football Focus. Yes. Do so you they, think? Yes. That I be, could take over. You'd be great at that. Thank um, you. Who else was the Watch one, one you did? And uh, you had Kerry Katona on as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. So, honestly, genuinely. Uh, before we go to Jordan's Jolly Joke of the Week. Oh, we're doing that. Why are we not doing William's Wacky Word of the Week? Sorry, William's Wacky Word Show him how you week. do it. Do it, do it. Because you've got to watch his head when he does it. Do it. William's Wacky <laughs> Word of the Week. Uh, before we go to... Jo- uh, we've done it. We're good. Uh, before we go to Jordan's Jolly Joke of the Week, we um, have got a little surprise for you. No, I don't like the surprises. We, 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 we've kind of bl- Bluetoothed some over to your phone. Um, we've got your mum. Bluetooth something over to my phone? Yeah, like airdrop. 2005. Airdrop is how oh, Airdrop, yeah, we, okay. You're going to see in there the latest single from N-Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you still play N-Dubs? Na, na, na. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, what we've done is we, we've got your mum to record us a little video what? message. Oh no! Stop it! No, your mum's your mum has recorded us a message. I very much doubt that. Live from <laughs> from your childhood home. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are we ready? Uh, we're going to watch this at the same time. So, for you as well, Jean Divas, Sarah Hansen has recorded. If well, my parents are watching, <laughs> I will explain this tomorrow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, they, they, it's fine. Your mum's recorded a message. Right? Uh, are you ready? Tell us when. Should we play it? Champagne, champagne over a lamp. Champagne. What? Who is it? What do you want? What? Oh, must I now? I'm having my beauty time, darling. Give it here. Glasses. Hurry up! Hurry up! Open them. Trying to look beautiful, darling. Cigarette! Cigarette! Thank you, darling. Hello, darling. Mummy here. Wishing you luck with your your cast pod, darling. Mummy's sending all her love, darling. Wishing you luck. I know it's going to be a success, darling. I know from the day you was born, you was going to be a success, and everything you shall do will be a success, darling. I know. Look, mummy's drinking champagne for you, darling. Cheers, darling, to your cast pod and to you and all your success, darling. Cheers, darling. Wishing you all the luck in the world. And James, call me, darling. I've not heard from you in ages. Mummy misses you, darling. What? But the message is not for James. Who's it for then, darling? For William. Oh, darling. I thought it was for my James. Hello, William, darling. Mummy here. Just wishing you luck. Just wishing you luck with your podcast, darling. Mummy said it's right. Podcast, darling. Or is it cast pod, darling? Is it cast pod, darling? Anyway, mummy's wishing you luck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hope you have a wonderful time, darling. If anybody's watching this, you should really watch my James, darling. Or listen to him on BBC Radio Bristol's, darlings. He's on on Mondays, he's on on Tuesdays, he's on on Wednesdays, darlings, he's on on Thursdays and Fridays, darlings. In the morning, darlings, he's very funny. BBC Radio Bristol's, darlings. Anyway, William, yes. Good luck, darling. Brian, bring up another bottle of champagne, darling. Another one? Fucking hell, that's two today, Sarah. Ah, shut up. I'm celebrating for my James, darling. You'll never like to see me celebrate. Jeeves. Get James on the phone. I need to speak to my baby, darling. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just so sorry. (laughs) Thank you, Mother, for that lovely message. Whose kimono was that? What? Whose kimono was that? 
<laughs> I got that when I was filming for ITV competitions. Right. Yeah, I had to wear it then. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much. 15 quid, that cigarette holder. I'm not <laughs> claiming that <I'm> back, by the way. You're not. Are you going to share the story of the first recording of... Oh, yeah, of so um, we, we, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed that, GD. What do you think of that? I'm speechless. <laughs> um, we did a first recording, which I thought was the best one, but literally you could see my bollocks. <laughs> 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 so he had to do another one. Like you yeah. literally got to see them. What were you wearing under there? Boxers, but you, it was like, you know what it's like when you, yeah. Right. So what time are we on? We um, we right. better do Jordan's jolly, Jordan's joke. jolly joke, joke of the week. week. But, uh, For the benefit of the edit, here's the jingle. Uh, is that oh, is we're not putting it in? Right. Well, we are putting it in. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's Jolly Joke of the Week. What did Kim Jong-un say before? Oh, <laughs> my favourite! <laughs> what did Kim Jong-un say before he died? Well, he's not dead. It's a joke. Oh. And I'll tell you the punchline after the break. What's that noise? No, it's it's just a bit on a, on a bit of a delay. We're, right, okay. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> oh, right, we're back. Okay. <laughs> uh, what did King, Kim Jong-un say before he died? I don't know. My career is over. <laughs> Did you run that one past Ben? Before no. you... <laughs> is that... I'm not going to get in trouble for that, am I? No. That's all right. That's okay. This is this is a this is a family book. <laughs> <laughs> Just give credit to Dad Jokes. Dad Jokes, the cheesy edition. <laughs> the cheesy edition, because our Lee's not texting me. Oh, hang on, let's see if our Lee, because he did text me. Because our Lee, I think our, our Lee's fallen out with me. Um... I don't blame him. Was that all right? Do you want me to do another? No, that's uh, no I think we'll right. just about get away with that. Uh, I know he's not texting me. Okay, uh, one more. No. My right arm hurts like crazy, but only between 9 and 11 a.m. Worst case of 10 ish elbow ever. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jordan, that's so awful. A week before Grandad died, we bought him a snowboard. He went downhill very quickly. <laughs> And you told me off a ventilator. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, I think that's quite funny. Right, can, no, wait, one more, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> this is the best one. I complimented my imaginary friend the other day. He was made up. <laughs> right. Get rid of it. Chuck it, chuck it. <laughs> no more. Best Christmas present ever, that. Now, look, one thing that we have been loving doing over our time doing <laughs> Help I Sex with My Boss is our live shows, our tour. Pull it down. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been told to pull it down. Um, we haven't obviously been able to do any live shows uh, for the last year or so, but we hope that in September and October we are uh, touring the nation and, and indeed other nations. We're going to Ireland um, as well. There are still tickets available for our shows in Dublin, Belfast, Cardiff and Brighton. So if you'd like to join us there, there are a couple of tickets How are you available. remembering that without reading the script? Just because I'm... Well, I did actually look down. That's really clever. Though. But I can sight read. Can you? Yeah, can That's you not? Age. I'm like literally like going... <laughs> And if you're watching yeah, on... We, we heard you do your diary. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. Um, bit of a, we had a bit of... <laughs> ben. Some, someone very kind in PR world arranged for us to do an interview with Irish television to promote our shows in Ireland. This, g and Divas, is brilliant. And if this doesn't sum up our podcast, I don't know what it is. Uh, ben should probably tell this story, I think. Do you think? I can do. Okay, Ben told us this in the pub today, and I promise you... We didn't realise this until Ben told us. We were howling. I think... Go on, tell okay, us. Okay, um, well, so you guys went on Irish TV, and I actually yeah. couldn't watch it, so when it, it, it's not like we're on TV every week, so I'd, I'd love to have watched it, but I couldn't have. I couldn't do. And you do these interviews because the idea is like, to plug your show. We're plugging the live tour. We're trying to sell tickets in Dublin, and this was a, a show that was <laughs> out in a Dublin. A prime opportunity. Yeah, it's a prime opportunity, so... So um, obviously I was intrigued. We get the I get the sales figures through and see how many tickets have been sold for the shows, uh, and I was very excited to open up the spreadsheet for the, for the week <laughs> after this Dublin this so us. TV show appearance. And um, I go on the show and I, I go on the spreadsheet and see oh Dublin Belfast oh um, two tickets have been returned <laughs> since. <laughs> 
<laughs> we are the only people. <laughs> so it was. It didn't go down. I thought. I thought the, we'd get less tickets available. No. More, two more. <laughs> Someone maybe has seen it on TV and thought, that's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. We are the only people we think that's plugged a tour and actually lost tickets in the history of broadcasting. <laughs> right. Think we how can't many... wait to come to Dublin and Ireland. <laughs> think how many Dublin people Belfast. go on the one show and plug tours and stuff. Yep. We've gone on like their equivalent, kind of. And We've lost tickets since that appearance. So yeah. thank you very much. But to be fair, the the most recent weeks there, there there aren't many left. I will say that genuinely. Okay. And I think what my thinking is, people they they watched it on TV, then they thought, right, I'm going to listen to that podcast, and now they've fallen in love with us. Probably. Yeah. So yeah. That's, yeah, that's what happened. That's the way to spin it. Yeah. Well done. Uh, well, we ca we can't wait. Um. We've also, you might, if you're watching this on YouTube as this goes out, you might notice, and we mentioned them at the top of the show, we're drinking from our new tumblers. Um, shall I come? Shall I hold one up to the camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shall I? Go on. Remove. It might. Be... Uh, oh Christ! That they, might be a bit. They say, help us to my boss. Thin rim pointing to the rim. Your ass is right in front of the other one. <laughs> Cutting to that. And uh, heavy bottom. And these new luck. These new luxury tumblers. I might have been off mic. Which there. was William's <laughs> grinder name when he met Mikey. <sighs> Too far? Yes. Okay. Sorry. These new tumblers are going to be available at the start of May on our website, but already, already on our um, website. You can go now if you want, if, well, after this live stream, are some new luxury T-shirts. Ben's going to do a little strip show <laughs> and demonstrate some. Well, hmm. <laughs> if you get excited about that. <laughs> oh, Ben, just move, move your top. We get a collar. close up. Glass, ice, gin, de bonnet, lemon, and enjoy. And there is a version, you can choose different colours, that say orange and enjoy. So if you're a bit like me and you prefer some orange, you can get one that say orange. I prefer orange, but I never have it in because I only get it in. At Christmas. And, and that's at sexyofmyboss.com slash merch. Thank you very much. For Edit. No, I'm, I'm quite happy to have my, my own voice there. Of course you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, this is a two-talent podcast. Um, so, yes, all the merch, sexofmyboss.com slash merch. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's giving me acid reflux. Oh, I'm so sorry. William Hansen. You've had noises from both ends now on this whole <laughs> series. Uh, right, Gene Davis, we reckon, thanks for sticking with us for uh, an hour now. We hope you're enjoying it. Remember, you can write any... <clears throat> oh, God, you got me going now. Any dilemmas that you've got or any problems. Um, so, yeah, we reckon we've done it, what, next 20 minutes or so? Yeah. Well, let's see how we get yeah. on with the listeners' yeah. problems. Well, the, the, the bigger and better, I feel like. If there's a problem that you've been thinking about sending yeah. in but haven't yeah. had this the is nerve, the time. Yeah. send it on a public forum on the YouTube. Yeah, comments. exactly. If you're shy about any of your problems, just pop it on the comments with your name attached. So, William Hansen will have our first... We've got a couple, yeah, bit to begin with. Questions, please. This is from Georgia. You're just going to... Now, this is what he normally does at this point in the show. No, I do... You do! Not. You sit back and you start checking your phone. That's not true. That makes me look rude. Yes, no, well, it's true. I can listen. And I've done... No, because, right, Gene Divas, I do all the legwork in the front bit. I do. I read the script and then this is your part. So now I... Right, I won't read that because you're right. It does look really rude. <sighs> this is from Georgia. So, I've been working at my current job for eight months now. Wendy says, thank you for not swearing, by the way. We've not, I've not sworn once. Have you not? No, I've not. Well done. I've Give not. it half yeah. an hour. My mum says thank you. I didn't even know I've not sworn once. Is Wendy watching? I don't like you swearing. You sound so rough. <laughs> Honestly, you make, you make us sound rough. Don't swear. This is from Georgia. So, I've been working at my current job for eight months now. I'm dating my manager. But we are very happy and are still having to keep things secret mm. because... Our managing director sends me love letters regularly telling me how much I have changed his life and how much he has fallen in love with me. I'm in my 20s, he's in his 40s, with a wife and daughter who is only a few years younger than me. I need help because I have no idea what to do. I'm sick of hiding my current relationship at work. Help. I think we've talked about this before, right? I mean, wow. Wow. Great letter, Ben. Thanks. Well, I didn't write it. No, I mean, but I know, I know you got through them all. But... Copied and pasted it. Cut that. Bit. I, do you know what? I've never really noticed what you write down on your pad until today. <laughs> I always write little notes. Because obviously I always write little notes. And Jordan's written down, not good. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, yeah. Right. 
What's, don't look at my notes. These are personal. Right, not good. And we've talked about this before. Not okay, hon. Bosses sending love letters. No, that's not appropriate. That's that's human resources. Yeah. Okay, what's she saying? What I should do? Also, as well... Um, but actually, is it difficult? Because if you go to human resources with that, are they going to question your relationship with your manager, yet alone your manager's manager? No, because... Mm, my advice there is, if you're having a relationship with someone from work, do try and keep it secret for a good year or so. Because there's two people no, I know. No, no, Yeah. I think if you're having a relationship with anyone at work, you have to tell human resources in advance. Yes. Yeah. Yes, full disclosure. Well, I don't know how that works, cause, but I know two people that, that I actually can't tell. Have you ever had a relationship with anyone you work with? <laughs> I'm actually sorry to <laughs> You know, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're live on the internet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should we go to our next problem? <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Jordan's just underlined not good. <laughs> you do that on <laughs> I generally thought this might be interesting. <laughs> no, I've not. <laughs> <laughs> There's another question. Don't, because it's so... Right, next question. George, you just go to HR. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Shut up! Don't <laughs> make it more obvious! Shut up! <sighs> this is from Luke. <laughs> Loving the podcast, my girlfriend introduced it to me around six months ago, and I've been going through the back catalogue. <laughs> I've surprised. Stop saying sorry, it never happened. I surprised her with a bottle of Dubonnet to our first G and D's during your live show, uh, and we're both looking forward to them. We've also got tickets to your show in Belfast. Oh, it's probably just you, uh, which we're looking forward Stop to. Saying that. Anyway, I finally have an issue I'd like to hear your opinions on. My parents separated in 2016, but didn't do anything about their marriage. Everything's been fine since then. It's all civil and they're comfortable in each other's presence. However, my mum has decided she wants a divorce and informed my dad of this a few uh, informed my dad of this a few weeks ago. Now, setting aside all the financial and legal issues this will throw up, there's a more pressing matter. My brother's birthday this weekend. Both parents will be there, as well as both our girlfriends. This will be the first time they have seen each other since the divorce was brought up. How would you deal with this? Would you skirt around the elephant in the room? <laughs> I told you what? to stop drinking. What is... You just belched. You, your career is over. You just belched. You are the UK's leading etiquette expert and you've just belched down the mic. We all heard that, didn't we? I thought I was going too fast. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you skirt around the elephant in the room? Looking forward to hearing your response. The podcast has really helped some rough days at work recently and a leader and I look forward to seeing you in Belfast. Yours sincerely, Luke. Right. Jordan. Uh, we need, I need to, I keep meaning to mention this as well. We get so many messages at the moment and so many people on the letters saying how you've helped us get through this year and rough days. Yeah. And we've all said like, that really does mean a lot. And like, you've helped us just as much as we've helped you genuinely. And I'm so sorry. It does mean a lot that. Luke, I don't think you skirt around the issue. I think you go head first into the elephant in the room. To the what? <laughs> Did I say elephant? Did you say elephant? <laughs> elephant. <laughs> this is falling apart. Why are we? Why did we have a? Why did we have a drink before? I think you address the elephant in the room, or you be tr brutally honest. And uh, I won't mention names, but I know someone very close to me who does this with her mum and dad, and they've got like she's got step parents, and they're fine. But every now and then at family dues, they've been known to boot off a bit. And she, this person says to him, "Right, don't boot off. This is such and such a day." Yeah. You need to remember it's their day and just remind them and be firm with them. And you, the best thing about parents and brothers is you can be brutally honest with you. Yeah. You can say, right, right, don't be a, don't be an idiot tonight. I would agree. And, and yeah, I think you've got to... Don't skirt. If this is going to be one of the first um, 
family dilemmas that that people are going to be going to and that you're going to have to deal with this this there are going to be many more to come so it's a good dress run really mm. um and so use it as that you talk to both of them and hopefully they you know they, they can find i've i've had i've hosted parties where exes have been in the same room and they kind of just stick to different sides of the room and it's fine and everyone else talks and everyone else knows you don't really talk about it there and then but you might talk about it before and make sure you tell people before they go yeah hopefully everyone knows about it not yeah. with uh at your first ever christmas soiree no when it was when he was still he was still going out with what see i know we can't say this when um what stop wait doing there. this where we're writing on the wait wait, wait 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 sorry i know this is and i said oh house. okay i think they weren't the people i was thinking of. i said how's oh it's so that person and he yeah. said oh we've been split up for and then he introduced me to his new boyfriend yeah Oh, was that his new boyfriend? Yeah, you never okay. liked him. No. No. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. We'll crash on. Um, let's go to Chloe's letter. Dear William and Jordan, I absolutely love the podcast and I'm working my way through the back catalogue. Every time I start a new or old episode, the theme tune boosts my serotonin levels and I simply fizz with excitement. However, I noticed something about the earlier episodes which has encouraged me to demand an answer immediately. Who the hell is that rude posh lady who speaks over the theme tune? <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see you in Sheffield in the autumn. Love, Chloe. So you should tell this because she kind of retired halfway through. And oh my God, the disaster we had with the new posh lady. So this was a lovely lady called Delia who did our uh, voiceovers for series one and two, maybe three. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and she would sort of just read some sort of standard lines that you now read, Jordan. Yeah. And anyway, Delia was then unavailable. She retired. And um, unbeknownst to us, there was a there was another posh lady, poshish lady that was brought in for the best of series three. That's and right. I remember listening to it on a flight back from Guangzhou or somewhere, and thinking, "Oh my god, what on earth is this?" Anyway, we never we never used a voiceover again after that. No, um, did we, Ben? No. no, no, no. And probably, I think Jordan and I probably let you know our feelings in a, you, in a very professional yeah. way. Yeah, yes. there was, there was yeah, quite clear. Yeah. Why are you passing my note? Just. Nothing. Carry on. What's the note say? We've got a uh, video message from your dad coming up. Is it? Oh, don't. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, Shall we go to okay. some of the stuff that has been coming in on yeah. sex? Which I've got a Google Doc here that um, Merchandise Matt has been copying and pasting. I forgot the ice, but anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Marty has said, why does it look like I'm watching the casting couch? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it does it does it does you know what the casting couch is no porn oh yeah <laughs> anymore uh yes this is from kirsty i've booked another tattoo kirsty um it's her 10th and my mum hates them i'm with your mum uh how do i tell her i'm getting another one without her getting annoyed at me I probably wouldn't tell her, because if you've got ten, or you've got nine at the moment, you're getting ten, she probably won't notice a tenth, depending on where you get it. Yeah, don't tell Do you know her. what I don't get with tattoos? And I know Ben's got some tattoos, and I think Matt, Merchandise Matt has some tattoos. Yeah. Um, I don't get people that get them on the back of their neck, because you can't see them. And if I'm going to spend a hundred pounds, however much a tattoo costs, you want to at least, I mean, how, how do you see it? In the mirror. No, not even in the mirror. I just, it's pathetic. I just don't get, I don't get the people that have it on the back of their neck. I stand behind them on the tube as you go down on the escalator. And, um, is, that just, the, is that the only time you're behind someone with a tattoo on yes. the back of their neck? Yes. And um, I just think it's ridiculous. But so that not that not the same as Jordan waxing his back? Well, no, because that's for the benefit of other people. Well, that's what a tattoo is as well. No. Who's going to see my back? Did I tell you my dad has two eyes on his bum? Oh, yeah, and when he leans over, they say, wow. No, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> how, how pissed is he? No, I've told you. He's got two eyes on his bum that he got done when he was 17 when he passed his driving test. I've told you this. Does he genuinely have this? Yes. <laughs> I've got pictures on my phone. I don't want to <laughs> see those. And basically, when we were younger, I mean, I don't, like, he'd, he'd be in bed and we'd, me and Al Ryan would pull his boxes down. He'd be like, I can see you from back of my head. Because he had eyes in his bum. And I recently seen him when I lived in Box Room. 
I've told you this. When you I lived, haven't? When I lived in box room, he got his shower and I said his ass. And he's got these, t- he's had him on his bum since he was 17, right? <laughs> and now that it, by then he was in his early 50s, one's here and one's down here. And it literally looks like his ass has had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to say that. So like one eye's We'll there. find out on Tuesday when this episode goes out. <laughs> that, but yeah. <laughs> So get your tattoo. Do you know what? Get, if your mum's going to disapprove, get cut that. Get your tattoo. Right. Sam has said, what's the etiquette if I don't shut your front door properly and your neighbour walks in on you in the bath? How do you face them after that? Oh, yeah. Accidentally walked in on you. Um, it's one of them. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Just don't ever mention it. Don't ever mention it. Lock the door. Yeah. Your hair looks good, Alan. His hair looks <gasps> really good, doesn't it? His hair, and do you know what Ben told me today when just before Turn you around. arrived? Turn around. It looks really good. I said, Ben, you look quite different. What's happened to your skin? He said, I've clean shaven because I know you prefer it, William. Oh. It's so sweet. It's I mean, it egg. is still not quite as clean shaven as I'd like it because there is a little bit of stuff. Says you. You've got stubble. What do you mean I've got is stubble? That five, is that literally a five o'clock shadow? Well, it's, I mean, it's about 8.30, but it's about 8.15. Did you shave this morning? Yes. No, you didn't. You know how much testosterone I have in me. It grows very quickly. No. I'm all man. We'll go, move, move on. This is from Janice. We think that it might have been us that returned the ticket. What? Return the tickets. We returned the Dublin tickets and bought them for Belfast. Oh. Lol. Janice. Right. That's well, good, we, please let yourself be known it, when you come to us in Belfast. We thought you'd watched our interview go out across Irish telly and was like, this is awful. And didn't want to come. Wow, okay. Right, should we call it five minutes? Oh, okay. what, 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 well, we're having a nice time. Oh, so am I, I'm so am I. I'm just worried people are getting... We'll do it a couple more. No, this no, is... no, 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 I sound rude. Should we yeah, call you it do. Off? Should we call it off? Have you got somewhere to be? No, well, God, no, no. No, no. What's going on? Line of duty. Uh, line of duty. Oh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be finished. We'll line of duty. Half past. We'll finish it half. All right. Yeah. This is from Giles. I don't mean Sam Rude. I don't, I don't. Well, you did. Um, what do you do if your favourite podcast does not answer your handwritten letter for over a year? Well, Giles, I don't think I... I respond to every letter. I, as long as there's a return address, as long as there's a return address, I will respond to every letter that we get. Okay. As long as they get sent to me. That's the other caveat. Okay. So send it again. Uh, this is from Ben, not him. My friend, who's a woman, is engaged to a man who's also on Grinder, but I know this because I hacked his phone. What? Oh my what? Goodness. Oh my! God. Do I tell? Why did you hack his phone? What? Why did you hack someone's How phone? How can you hack someone's phone? I thought that was like what journalists did. No, because not all gen- <laughs> for, le- for legal reasons. <laughs> For legal reasons, you not, are not all journalists. You are a liability. <laughs> no, it was going so well. How would you hack someone's phone? Right, carry on reading it. Eh? Well, if that's it. Uh, I mean, okay. You, but the you, the you, basic you, problem on if you if you the basic problem is okay. Taking the phone hacking away from it, Piers Ben. Sorry, um, my the friend. <laughs> The friend who's engaged to a man is also on gr- the man is on Grinder that her female friend his female friend presumably mm. is on Grinder with. So Ben's female friend is engaged to a guy who is on Grinder. Now she might know. Okay, look, this is 2021. Yeah. She may know. Okay, this might be fine. She doesn't, but she might. Um I am not sure. <laughs> It's, this is this is one of the hardest dilemmas we get, and after a hundred main episodes, I can tell you it is, and it's still to this day you, you don't mm-hmm. quite know how to yep. to judge it. Is I know my friend's partner's cheating on them. Should I say something? Mm. And you're probably screaming at the screen now, going, "Well, I'd tell my best mate," but then you think about it, be like, "Would you? Yeah. Would you? Would you be the bearer of bad news?" I um, he's hacked a phone. He can't say. No. I, again, you I don't. don't yeah, know, I. Then you, how do you go to bed at night knowing he's on Grinder speaking to guys when he's engaged? Well, yeah, it is guys on Grinder, isn't it? It's not. It's not both. Um, What's your advice? I probably would say nothing. Don't hack phone. Bad. Not good. But just let it. Let what will be will be. Try and it's their relationship. Yeah. She may know. 
butt out. If she asks you, however, I think I have a suspicion that da 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 da, perhaps that might be the opportune moment to say it. But, but then until she's going to say, well, why didn't you tell me two months ago? Well, no, pretend you only just found out. Wow. A little white lie on that, I would say. Would you say that if you hadn't heard about five? Look at him. He, in, he, inha he's, he inhales chocolate and drinks, right? Before we come on air today, he, we, we got some chocolate in. I mean, I had a couple of squares. A couple of squares? A couple of squares. This one is from Anonymous. By the way, can I yep. just say, you're better live. You've not stumbled once. Like, during... <laughs> cheer <laughs> And he drops the iPad as he does it. During the episode, oh, like God. they make it sound so good how he reads the letters. Mine. But sometimes it takes him four or five attempts to read a letter. But he's smashing it tonight. Boosh. Fish me. <laughs> you only have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is from Anonymous. Can I just say I've had so much fun tonight? I've had a lot of fun. Let's do this every episode. <laughs> Dear William Jordan and Proddy B. I'm in a luxury WhatsApp group with my friends Ollie and Josh. Ollie regularly likes to send us pictures of his current situation. Picture him in front of the television, relaxing, him in the garden, sunbathing, him with his girlfriend in the kitchen. Oh. The usual group chat banter. Tonight, he sent us a picture of him preparing for tonight's live stream, but managed to include his cock in the frame. <laughs> How do I tell him I'd rather not see his love length writhing, <laughs> love in, his, length. writhing in his pants on a Sunday evening? Kiss. Well, I mean, what do you do? Name of the title. What do you do if you actually send a nude to a friend? Mm. And, and it's that dreaded thing where you can't delete it on WhatsApp. I'm not talking from experience, but you know, like when you, <laughs> you know when you can't delete on WhatsApp, where you can only delete it for me and not everyone. I mean, it literally can delete for everyone these days. Yeah. What What do you do if you send a nude to a friend? Or we've probably talked. I don't about think it. I, I've never sent a nude to a friend. I don't think you've ever sent. I don't think I've sent a nude. nude. Have you? No. Don't look at me like that, as if I've sent it to you. No, but when you were in, uh... oh man, definitely not. No, no. Come on, you're only thirty-one. Yes, and that's the sort of thing you shouldn't be doing at 31. Not a quick, uh... What are you up to? Absolutely not. Just stop, sight. Give me two minutes, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> I'll run in Porter cabin. <laughs> I'll run in Porterloo. I'll... Give me two minutes, I'll be in Porterloo in a sec. Ooh. <laughs> I love the noise you do at the end of that. Ooh. <laughs> Literally, right, not gonna lie. Sarah's bubbles slash... Um, Josh Huckleball. Slash. Edna Mode. Edna Mode. And Mikey's pretty much Mel B from... Mel B? From Bow Selector. Right. Boom! <laughs> uh, Good. Um, uh, what do you do if you send it? I would just ignore it. Yeah, ignore I would it. Just, never happened. Yeah, never happened. Never happened. Don't mention it. Obviously, if it happens again, and it seems to be it's not an accident, then you need to say this is not appropriate. But once, ignore it, don't say anything. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Okay, one more, and then we shall we shall wrap up. Um, this is from Abby. My dilemma is that I have Lewis Capaldi tickets and your live podcast tickets for the same date at the same time. <gasps> Who do I choose? Oh, oh my God. I mean... It's very easy. Is a multi-million selling song person and can get out, can sell tours... But two... He'll be fine for ticket holders. Let's one is a worldwide multi-million selling song person. And one of us is really skint. So... <laughs> you are on. The moment this comes off... So, you choose... <laughs> you choose. Think of this as one of those appeals... <laughs> on the telly <laughs> when you're watching the advice Curry. today has been absolutely <laughs> woeful for Think you this you want, do you want to help out an etiquette expert <laughs> I'm if if it weren't for COVID I'd punch her in the face <laughs> have I gone too far so we'll let you uh, we'll let you judge that we'll um, let you finish that one Jordan okay uh Jean Devers, thank you for your questions. Not just tonight, but over all of the series that we've had, all seven series. Yeah, seriously, genuinely, thank you. We've got quite a few thank yous, haven't we? We do. 
Yeah. Um, I do. You, who wants to go first? Well, it's been a hundred episodes. Hundred main the, episodes. Hundred main episodes. We have actually done one hundred and seventy-two episodes, but, but that includes the four hundred and twelve that we did when you were away. So, uh, how do you work that out? So it's hundred main episodes, and there's many people we would. I'm gonna burp. Yeah, I, it does. It gives you. It gives how you many have, Because obviously, uh, there's many people we would uh, like to thank. So, I think we should start by thanking. Mm. first, our friends and family who first yep. started listening to this podcast yep. when we started. So it was basically like our friends, like... Well, my friends, your family. Yeah, mm. basically, yeah. My family, I hope, have never listened to this. <laughs> yeah, James <laughs> listens, doesn't he? Yeah, to be fair, James listens yeah. from time to time. So our friends and family, uh, to everybody at all, Audio Always, especially Stuart, Merchandise Matt, everybody there. Yeah. Produce the podcast. Chelsea, who's had a passing involvement from time to time. <laughs> yeah. When she can be bothered. Uh, to you, William. Thank oh, you. Oh, Jordan, thank you. Why am I going there? I should be last. <laughs> Hashtag protocol. Oh, yeah. Is it? Um, thank you to you. Can I, can I thank Mikey, uh, who's, who's been wonderful and yeah. enabled me to be confident and happy enough to, to talk to you, Gene Divas, every week. And also, on a separate note, uh, to allow us to, or allow you, to defame him week after week. No, he does deserve a mention because he does let us take the mick out of him pretty much every week. Yeah. Doesn't he? So, yeah. With no right to reply. No. So, thank you, Mikey. You're welcome, me little flower pot. Uh, um, can I thank you, Jordan? Thank you. You've been wonderful. Oh, There's no one else that I would do this with, really. Oh, really? Hand on heart. <laughs> I have quite a lot. Of, well, I mean, other than Jonathan. But... <laughs> <and> the, <laughs> Keeping up appearances, the luxury podcast. Search it. Um, but yeah, other than that, this, this, this wouldn't work with anyone else. Oh, thank so you. Thank you. Uh, we should also, as well, say a big thank you to producer Ben. We take the mick out of him every episode, and we do tease him. But he like he, he puts up with an awful lot. He comes up with a many, many creative he ideas. He is the brains behind the operation, and we make it no secret what we do. But he is, isn't he? And, we, and again, you know, it's it's Jordan and I talking to you in front of the microphone every week, but actually behind the microphone, enabling us. Like our enabler is producer Ben. Monday to Friday on this. So thank you, producer. Yeah, ben. Fridays now because he doesn't have Fridays off anymore. That was that's changed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you know, but message him oh, on a weekend. <sighs> not interested. Good out Also, before we before <laughs> we forget, we should mention this. If you've watched this tonight and thinking. Oh, well, I've got tickets for the live show. This is totally different. No. Like, yep. this is not... The live show is nothing... To, well, you, it's nothing... Like, this is... We've just recorded the podcast. I fly over the audience with an umbrella. Yeah. Um, there's smoke. Yeah, like... There's go-go dancers. It's very different. So if you're show. coming to watch us on a live tour, I think, well, I've just watched it on YouTube tonight. It's... It's totally different. It is different. It's totally different. If this is big, this has been big. Yeah. This, yeah, the big live stream. This has but been big, go, but this has been static. Like, we have props. And Bigger. And we, Bigger. You know, we, we do it, don't we? Yeah. Uh, and finally, William, who do we want to thank? Well, we've just done that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You've missed the most oh, important. Oh, yes. Sorry. You've missed the most important. We want to thank you, you. G and Divas. We Dave. really are nothing without you. Your letters, your correspondence, your support, your listening. Even just by listening, if you've never written into us, that means so much to us. Yeah. We, we'd like, we, we, I'll get a, a, a lovely tweet midweek, and, I'll, and I, I, I tried to reply to them all just saying, oh, you've cheered a Wednesday up, or I listen to you every Tuesday, so... We really, really do appreciate we it. Do. Like, we, would not we would be, be nothing. Here. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't. And we, we love doing this. It's like my favourite thing that we do, isn't it? It, it, it? Genuinely, it is the thing that in my career, and I have, I've been very fortunate to have some wonderful opportunities, it is the thing that I am the most proud of. And it gives me such joy. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I won't cry. No, don't cry. Uh, remember, if you want our help with something, then you can tweet us at Sex and My Boss. You can send your tales of trepidation to help at sexofmyboss.com. Or you can write to William, who promises a handwritten reply on his own letter paper. The address is on the website, sexedmyboss.com. Quickly, before we go, yeah. what is the one thing you've learned over 100 episodes? I have learned not to take life too seriously. To be able to laugh at yourself is probably the greatest gift that anyone could give you. Because if you can't laugh at yourself, you might be missing out on the joke of the century. That's lovely. And I have also learned that you can come from two different backgrounds. You can be totally different to someone 
and they can be totally different to you, but you can be best mates with them as well. So it doesn't matter where you're from. Team high five or fist bump. Thank you very much. And him. Oh. We hope you've enjoyed tonight and here's to 100 more episodes. Oh, Good God. night. At least I hope not. <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> we done? Yeah. Oh, thank God. These are killing me. <laughs> Jesus. How would you wear them for so long? It's tough, isn't I it? I know, isn't I it? Know. Gee. I'll take oh, mine off. God. I need them pop socks. <laughs>